and we are back on this episode of HeroCon talking about stuff. This is HeroCon talking about the Xbox One price drop. Now, before I go into details about this, I just want to talk about a story. Tell a story. A story about a young guy who was at a uh, walk for life or some other thing like that, uh, and uh, trying to find something to do. Uh, you know, his mom or his mom's friend walked for life or did you know other stuff like that. Oh, how a young man, that young man, eventually found a gaming tent. Mm. Yeah, and there were three systems in there. A uh, PlayStation 3, an Xbox 360, and a Wii. Mm. And there's no Wii. And also how he enjoyed the Wii the most. Mm. Because it was easy just to pick, pick up and play. You know, mm. That Wii. You know, especially Wii Golf. Mm. Wii Golf was so fun. Mm. You know, just swung it. You know, swung the Wii Remote. Mm -mm, and there you go. And that was great. You know, it was a lot of fun. And then came the, along came the Kinect. The Kinect, uh, you basically trying to be better than the Wii. And basically, I was in walk. I was in a Walmart. Okay, a pretty crowded Walmart. And I just was in the electronics section, walking around, and I saw a game of cornhole, mm -hmm, virtual cornhole, basically. And I walked right in front. Of the uh, TV, mm. well, that was going on. See if I how do I play this thing, you know? And because I didn't see any controllers, a and then I, I saw that it, it saw me, and like that, the, the, the game saw me. And I, when I moved my hand around, it moved the cursor, and then I, you know, used it to pick, start a new game. And then you know, after it, you know, start, you know, the time ticker, the timer went out off, scratching. Mm. An itch and the scratch. All right, I so I was playing virtual cornhole, and I was throwing, you know, no, you know, hello, no controller at all, just scoop, scoop you know, throwing the bean bag in there. Like, oh, I missed. And the next one, I was like, oh yeah, I got it. Yeah, sorry, sorry, girl, sorry, uh, cartoon girl. I'm really sorry. I I made you mad, but yeah, that's the way it is. You know, I missed that game. I want to get that game. And that was when I was introduced to the Kinect, the original Kinect for the Xbox 360. It was uh, wonderful. Uh, oh, and a little while later, a little while later, hello? No, uh, not yet. Oh. Oops, yes, sir. One second. A young man, you know, it was me and my mom got one. And basically, basically, my mom bought, I mean, my mom was able to get an Xbox with, with 660 with Connect because she went, she worked at a place called Healthy Treasures, which is a health food store, and her and a few of her friends that also worked there went to a health food convention and there was a raffle and one of the prizes for that raffle was an Xbox 360 with Kinect. Another one was a uh, like a Kindle Fire or whatever it came before the Kindle Fire. Uh, you know, whatever. Whatever that one was. You know. Not the Kindle Fire, but uh, the Kindle uh, Kindle. Mm -hmm. Let's say a Kindle. And she won the Kindle, but someone else won the Xbox 360 with Kinect and she, the lady was like, you know what, I don't know all this. You know, you want to trade? Mm -hmm. She's like, hmm, sure. And he had that. And I was able to play uh, Connect Adventures and Connect Sports. And, not Connect Sports. Connect Adventures and show off how awesome the Connect was. And, and it was great. And, you know, it was great. And then it was, all the games came out and made the Connect look like crap because the games were crap. Mm -hmm. You know, usually that was the problem. People would say, that's the Connect fault. The Connect did this. You know, the Connect did that. And you know, they were like, oh, you know, I, I, why do they have a spinning menu? They were like, I can't do this with Connect. I'm like, yeah, it wasn't just the Kinect's fault. It was the game designer's fault. <clears throat> okay, who designed that spinning menu? You know, that wasn't the Kinect. <clears throat> the Kinect is a camera that looks at you. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> you know, and yeah, it could, definitely could use improvement. I was, you know, seen another video that I was talking about light. It needed the light, it needs, it needs its own light <clears throat> so that it can mess around and shine on you and it'll be able to see better. But that's why you need it. But yeah, still. <clears throat> The reason why I made this video, well, was not just to talk about the Kinect. Of course, I'm going to continue to talk about it because I like the Kinect and the Kinect is interesting. And, oh uh, my goodness, it basically is the next step in the uh, motion.
motion control arms race. But the issue is with, the, with this Xbox that three ninety nine, you know, saying it's three ninety nine. Uh, because I heard Ghost Robo say it. Mm -hmm. I heard about Ghost, the Ghost Robo's video. I saw that on there, and obviously the reason why it's three ninety nine instead of four ninety nine is because you know, there's no connect to attached to it. You know, it's a, a connect you know version with no connect on it, you know, connectless version. And people are like, "Yay! Now it costs less. It has no connect, which, which we didn't really see the use for anyway." Yay! And I'm like, eh. you know, I'm like, not like no, the whole thing. No, I'm not like that. I'm more of meh. I'm more, uh, well, you know, I understand why they did this. Mm -hmm. I understand why they made it through that, and why they had to get rid of that. You know, had to decide to, you know, drop the connect mm -hmm. a little bit. You know, you know, I understand it because they wanted to make a more competitive price, and that's fine with me. That's fine with me. You know, I'm hoping that the um. Nintendo takes, you know, follows this example and drops a certain perpetual off of, off of their system. Mm, that costs a bit of money. You know, I hope they do that, and that'll be a fun circle. You know, fun. Um, you know, kind of ironic. Uh, Nintendo following Xbox's example for once. Mm, you know, that's what I'm looking forward to seeing. Mm, but I just want to say though, I hope that it, this is not the end for the Kinect. Mm, I hope that it keeps going, and I hope that people make the game actually. We'll continue to make games for it, even though it won't be on every mm, Xbox mm, now. You know, that was what, you know, Adam Sessler and everybody else that worked for games was talking about. You know, if it's on every Xbox, then the developers will know that this comes with Kinect, and therefore, that, that every Xbox is Kinect on it. Therefore, it will, you know, I'll be able to mess around and make stuff for the Kinect, you know, knowing that uh, it will be a big audience for this game. Now, with, with, with the 399 SKU, mm, SKU, yeah, uh, that's not possible anymore, and you know, basically, um, hopefully, they'll still sell connects, you know, and I will buy one because I want to show you how awesome the connect is. Mm -hmm, you know, I'm gonna buy, a, you know, the old one. When I get an Xbox 360, I'm gonna get an Xbox 360. I'm gonna get a connect, the old connect. I'm gonna get, you know, all the connect games that I want to get. I'm gonna show you how the awesome that stuff is because mm -hmm, it's awesome. You know, it's such potential, and yeah, people need to jump on this and hook it up real nice. You know, so you need Punch-Out for Connect and Mist for Connect mm -hmm. and Skyrim for Connect as well. Mm -hmm. no. Or at least Connect controls for Skyrim. Come on. Mm -hmm. Anyway. But this does make it things better for them because, you know, it does make it look more fun. Uh, and I really, again, I really hope that the Wii U does the same thing with the Wii U gamepad and just sells it separately. Mm -hmm. Sell it separately uh, and just have Wii emotes and then you'll be back. You'll be making money. That's the issue, Nintendo. That's the issue, Nintendo. If you just went back to Wiimotes, if you did the same thing you did with the Super Nintendo, mm -mm, okay, here's what you did with the Super Nintendo. You said, you, know, you have the Nintendo, now you're playing with power, so it's like, okay, and then the Super Nintendo came out, and you were like, okay, you know, hey guys, mm -mm, you know how you have the Nintendo? Well, that was awesome. We're going to use something that uses to something totally different, mm -mm, totally different, mm -mm. you know, we're gonna, that's, that's what you're doing with Wii U, what they're doing with the Wii U, with the gamepad. You know, something totally different mm -mm, than the, you know the original Nintendo. You know, instead of you know what they did with the Super Nintendo was they were like, okay, yeah, it's the same. It's more powerful mm -mm, than the regular. Has more buttons. That's it. You know, more powerful. Mm -mm, has more buttons. Mm -mm, yes, but you know, still, it's like you know, this is like slightly, slight you know, slight changes. You know, not a radical change. <laughs> okay, not a radical change like the Wii U or the Kinect. Yeah, in a way, it was. You know. But the cool thing is. The Xbox 360 did not, you know, did have one that came with Kinect, did have one that didn't, and it had one that didn't too. So, you know, this isn't that bad. I mean, you know, I, if I have the opportunity, I will gladly buy one with Kinect because I want the Kinect to show how awesome these games are. This is what it said the new Kinects will be even better than the old one. So, come on, I want to show that. You know, this is not, this is not my favorite thing. I'm annoyed that it's not, not as many people are going to have it, and not as many people are going to see how awesome it actually is. But I am liking that it's a more competitive price, therefore we'll sell more Xboxes, and therefore we can generate more cash for more stuff for the Kinect, yeah, as well as other things too. Well, other Xbox things too. Well, so that's what makes me like, eh, you know, it's okay. You know, I don't like that it's like that, but you know, it's you know, important that they do keep things competitive, and that they, you know, do stuff. You know, but I'm serious, you know. Nintendo got something awesome with the Wii, mm. you know, simple controls, and you know, Xbox had something interesting to try to combat, try to uh, get some, you know, to do something even better than what the Wii did, 
which is basically there is no control area. No, you just you know, move yourself. People, of course, you know, they're probably, you know, people, of course, you know, program games that weren't the best for it. You know, or they program games that were really good for it, like Connect Avengers and Connect Sports. Um, basically, though, yeah. You know, and then Nintendo fumbled with the Wii U gamepad, which is totally different than the Wii U. The Wii's thing, so it's just like, what well, I can't, you know, weird, different, you know. And you now the Xbox, though, stayed the course, in my opinion. Xbox One got a connect on there, the connect 2.0 improved upon what they had before, so it's basically the same thing, you know, but better. That's what Nintendo needs to do, too. Okay, I hope they'll follow this example because that, that's another thing, that's another thing I like about it. Getting rid of you know a uh, perpetual that people weren't exactly that thrilled with, you know. Hopefully, will spur Nintendo to do the same. So yeah, so that's this. This is, you know, basically like eating your vegetables. Mm -hmm. Eating my vegetables for me, mm -hmm. you know. It's not dessert. Mm -hmm. It's not dessert, but it's not bad. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's not nasty. Mm -hmm. It's meh. okay. I understand. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's just it. I'm gonna show you all kinds of good stuff. Mm. With the Kinect. Mm. Xbox and Kinect. Yeah, I'll, I'll hook it up. Because, mm. um, yeah, Kinect's actually awesome. Please continue making Kinects. And if there is an audience out there for them, despite what you've been, he been hearing from some of these game developers, from some of these, uh, you know, people on YouTube. Mm. So, see you next time. Check me out on YouTube and DeviantArt, especially my How Sonic. No, well, Sonic should have ended. Sonic 2006 should have ended on DeviantArt. How Star Wars Episode 1 should have ended on DeviantArt. And Hero Force Neo on DeviantArt. Figure out how it works that properly. Um, you, on YouTube, it's Star Wars: Between the Time, Star Wars: The Second Story, Super Mario World, uh, Nick Two's Attack Toy Bots, uh, Halo Three, uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen, Blue Dragon, and uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, and Urban hmm. Rain, Native Major Path Neil, Into the Matrix, yeah. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. And a lot of good stuff and backpack. I'm talking about different uh, products and things. Best and worst as well. See you next time.